Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about being prepared. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, a question over here. When learning, what learning strategy a self-taught can follow to master in-demand skills and actually be qualified to work as a software developer? There's a ton of boot camps and courses that promises the world out there. How, how can a self-taught how can how a self-taught can study and build products that will get them hired i'm self-taught and often feel confused and lack confidence in what i do and learn you often talk about people who get into it but lack the necessary knowledge and fundamentals how do you make sure it's not to be one of them it's very simple and it's very complicated at the same time uh, the let me just finish this once and for all. It's probably not going to be the last video I make on it because this is like the one of the core questions for people who want to get into the industry. Guys, the thing you have to do in order to be a software developer is to know how to use one stack that fairly uh, accurately reflects the daily uh, to daily work and commonly used tools that a software developer is using. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, the problem with that is that the range of combinations that that can entail is pretty hefty. The range of tools that you have to know can vary a lot depending on the language you pick, on if you're front end, back end, if you're ops, and so forth and so forth. It varies from company to company as well, which is why what I tell people is that. Uh, when I talk about people lacking like the necessary basic skills, it has to do with usually that the individual is what they call they call themselves mid levels, they call themselves seniors, etc., etc. But the reality is that they really only know one stack, and most of the time they don't actually know it all that well. Most companies need individuals who have the ability to not just adopt a specific set because uh, there is no way, on average an inexperienced software developer who has literally done one project or one archetype of project forever and just knows one set of tools is going to have the necessary skills or to just seamlessly transition into something else unless they have these fundamentals. Basically what I'm talking about here is that if you go to any company it is very unlikely that all the tools and the work environment and so forth is going to be identical. A lot of it is going to be overlapped, a lot of things are going to be very similar, but you need to have the necessary skills in order to adapt. As a junior software developer, it's more forgivable that you may not know all the tools and differences because you're expected to not know as much as everybody else. But if you're a senior software developer, and guys, I have interviewed so many seniors now that fail the junior code test. And the junior code test is like the, these are so called front end, like, like front, in this case it was front end developers, front end seniors who can't make a basic carousel and can't follow a like a design specification and actually make it look like the thing or can't produce a mobile responsive layout. That's not a senior, that's a joke in our industry because this is the sort of thing this is like daily stuff that you do as a software developer even the juniors do this on a daily basis so if you call yourself a senior and you can't make that happen then i by my definition that you're not a senior you're barely a junior level software developer in my opinion and this is what i'm talking about guys you it's very difficult for me, as I've said before, to explain to you all the things that you have to know because the boot camps, as I've told you before, guys, the boot camps will tell you how a specific tool works. Or if you're lucky, they will be made by people who actually know the industry and they will, be, will tell you, you know, sort of the set of tools that you will need. But there is a reason why most of the education that you find for people who want to be software developer is a bit longer in many cases, not always. Frontend is a special sort of beast in this sort of situation, in my opinion, at the very least. But as I've said, guys, the average time range people want to see in a CV is one to five years. There is a reason for that, because you're not going to master the entire ecosystem of things that you might potentially have to know in, in less time than that. It's probably not going to happen in that time either. Guys, most of the people who, uh, this is, a, I'll tell you a secret. Most of the people who have been working for four years are just barely good enough. 
And some of them are really, really good, but most of them are just barely good enough to like be productive. They can handle a task on their own, but it's usually going to take a lot longer. It's usually not going to be at the sort of level you might expect from a real senior. The seniors are usually, as I said, like the differences guys of a true senior and someone who's been working for a few years is like enormous depending on the person you're dealing with. And it's not just about speed and performance that these things sort of show themselves. It has to do with overall comfort. Well, that sort of ties into the speed and performance in a sense as well. But the comfort you, you, you feel when you work in the ecosystem. So for you to like, to, to get the learning strategy, I've said this before you guys, the best way for you to do that is to talk to software developers on uh, that work at a company that you might find interesting or if like, you can check the job postings or so forth and so forth and look at the actual tools that they are using. Just reach out to them and tell them what stack is your, what, what tools are you using and then just learn that specific stack and try to figure out what is it that they are doing on a daily basis because I can tell you things like it, it depends on the roles as I was saying in many cases guys depending on the company you might have to ha you, you have different levels of requirements some system, some companies use one stack in a surrounding ecosystem and might give their responsibility to software developers to do DevOps on top of the work that they are doing and these sort of things are realities that you have to sort of understand. You, As a junior you can't learn all of this stuff and that's why I tell people that as a junior you should focus on what a junior level software developer is on average most expected to know which is basically the stack, the coding language uh, and how to debug their own issues or like to ship something into production but as you become more senior or as the and this is what happens in the entire industry the requirements are just going up and by now by the time you get to the sort of where I am today you literally have to know how to run the entire infrastructure on top of learn knowing how to deal with the entire front end area this entire back end area and i'm not i'm not joking now guys i'm saying that you get to a level where you basically need to know how to do the job of everybody and that is just it doesn't have to be in every company but that is the difficulty with me explaining to you what do you need to know to know the basics because it all comes down to how complicated is the work environment that you find yourself in. In one company it might be very very simple, in another company like where say the same type sort of works that I've been doing, you literally have to know everything because you like the company, that's the way that they, uh, they've structured that company. So what I want you to take away from this is that the best tip I can give you to know how to you know, be prepared to be a software developer is, as I've said, look at the boot camps absolutely, or if you're, if you're self-taught or if you go to university, it doesn't really matter which path you take here because it's the same sort of deal, right? But the most important thing is to have a realistic understanding of what it means to be a software developer. What are the daily things that you, the software developers are using? What stacks are they using? What tasks are they usually doing? If you take, if you ask a software developer, you just reach out to them and have a meeting with them, like take a coffee with them and say, what tools do you like? Tell them, ask them about their day. Like what tools are they using? How does, does it usually work and so forth? And you will get the list of tools that are relevant to you. And then you try to practice with those tools. And that's the best way you can, uh, as a junior software developer trying to break into the industry, that's probably the best thing you can do because that is the closest that you're going to get to a realistic situation. And when it comes to, you know, long term things, as I've said, like when you get to be a mid level or senior and so forth, I can promise you that the range of things usually goes up that you have to know. And when you, if you want to work at the highest levels where you're literally, you know, you're dealing with the most complicated issues then basically the, you have to be a person who basically knows everything about everything that's not where you start out but you very quickly get to realize that everything is connected guys and it's every every company has a different composition of tools that they are using and requirements they're going to put on you in one company you might be the worst software developer they've ever seen because you can't deal with all the chaos and complexity that they have in another one you might be the best one it really depends on like how do they do work? There is no blueprint for how every company structures everything 
they most of the time have the same sort of general tools but as I said it's sort of like making food the composition of ingredients is different all the ingredients are there but you put them together in different ways and that is a very difficult thing for you to just study it's not like a standard like for some professions where you just take a course and then you're done now you're educated it's much more difficult than that have a great day